Welcome back, you lovely bunch. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you're all doing good. Yesterday, I was out on the carbon road bike, a very nice, comfortable, albeit somewhat slightly stiff, but very comfortable bike to ride. And it's got me thinking, I wonder how much more comfortable my carbon road bike is than my aluminium bike. See, so very soon, I will have a carbon road bike, a steel road bike, and an aluminium road bike. And it'll be interesting to see how each one rides. So carbon feels really good to ride, there's a lot of flex to it, and it is very comfortable. But steel also, steel is very much up there. And let's not forget titanium. I've never ridden a titanium bike. I've heard that they're overrated and also amazing. So I'm not sure. Let me know if you ride a titanium bike, are they any good? This aluminium frame, no way is it gonna be as flexible or forgiving as my road frame but do you know what i've got 36 mil tires on it the rims aren't as deep so i reckon this bike is actually more comfortable than my road bike which it should be there's no aero to it right anyway i'm knackered i'm hungry i'm tired it's really early so i struggle to get words out so i'm going to leave my intro here we're going to go and have a little bit of a meander and hopefully not get too soaked because well I'm not really up for it but i am prepared for it see look mud guards overshoes sorted right Let's go get some food, I'm starving. <laughs> This is not the worst place to have a little snack, is it? That is a lovely view, and look at that. Joy, there's someone actually swimming out there. Lunatics. And now my bike is covered in salt and sand. I mean, it's gray, it's wet, it's horrible. I mean, look at it. It's not looking too nice over there. And that's the way that I'm riding. So I'm gonna ride over there, loop back round, and then just meander today. In my last vlog, I talked about how you look stupid walking on um, hard floors in cycle shoes. Do you know what's worse? Sand get stuck under your cleat you can't clip in and uh gets all over your bike it's horrible and now <laughs> i have to like waddle up this might look a bit funny walking in cycle shoes but essentially i'm wearing like superman leggings so i mean all kind of goes with it right i don't want to faff too much because i'll end up falling asleep or something i'm a bit tired today oh i can't get my foot in the pedal i'm in the tunnel it's back to talking about bikes oh i've ridden the wrong way let's see if we can get up this that's why you run 36 mil tires it's a bloody pleasure to ride this bike but right now we're gonna head up here to another beach standard devon do you know i forget I forget how bright and colourful this bike is. Some bloke was just proper staring, like proper staring. And it made me think I had something on my face, but I didn't have anything on my face. It was looking at my bike, because it's blooming amazing. I do forget that it is so like, oh, oh, look at it. I bloody love this bike. So we were just over there on that side. And you can like ride all the way along. And that's like Brixham over there. Here we go, there's my tour of Devon. Back to the aluminium frame, right? Aluminium has a reputation of being rigid, stiff and uncomfortable. And you know what? It's really not that bad. There's a few things you can do to make it more comfortable. A carbon fork. So an aluminium frame with a skinnier seat post. Like this. 27.2. The seat post is thinner, so there's a bit more flex. So again, it gives you a bit more comfort. But the biggest change and the biggest thing that you want to do is change your tyres. Putting a larger tyre on this bike changed the feel completely. So it's a 36 mil wide tyre. I'm running at about 40 PSI, so it gives me so much comfort. The downside is it's not fast. Yes, it feels faster than if it were stock, but no, it's not a fast bike. It's a like medium fast, you know, compared to my road bike yesterday. No, it's not fast, but compared to my gravel bike, I'd say it's very similar. Like if I put these wheels on my gravel bike, I think the biggest difference you should notice is the comfort and obviously aluminium versus carbon. Carbon is gonna be more comfortable in that scenario, but aluminium is significantly cheaper. And honestly, don't knock it till you tried it. I actually proper rate aluminium frames. So I'm gonna build this up and I'm gonna put some gravel tires on it. because I wanna use this as a multi-purpose bike. I want this to be my all-road bike 
and a gravel bike and I want to test it off-road, on gravel, on all the rough terrain around here compared to my carbon gravel bike. What is your frame preference? Come on, aluminium, steel, carbon? I don't have one. You know, they all feel different and ride different. But I will say this, I do think titanium, as beautiful as it is, I think it makes beautiful exhaust systems for cars, for example. But bikes, I think it's a little bit overrated. I'm sorry, please don't kill me. But I do, a little bit, a tiny bit overrated. Anyway, let's continue this ride. Feel free to slate me in the comments. Uh, yeah, let's carry on. Ooh. I thought it was brightening up. <laughs> I couldn't have been more wrong. Oh, it's a good job I rode this bike today. Another good thing about aluminium, doesn't rust. You know, I mean, carbon doesn't rust. And I don't think titanium rusts either, but aluminium doesn't rust. So that's a good thing, see? So my bike is not gonna get rusty. I mean, I feel like I might rust. The amount of time I've spent bloody soaking wet this winter. So I don't mind it when it's like this. But yes, I'd prefer it if it were dry, but it's not that cold. It's not like torrential. It's like atmospheric, isn't it? Like, is that an English thing? That we decide that it's atmospheric rather than just crap weather. To someone that lived in LA or somewhere nice, this would be horrible. You know, it's like 10 degrees and wet but it could be worse. I was just romanticizing the British weather. It's still incredibly atmospheric. I mean, wet, but atmospheric, right? At least it's not cold. Two hours in and it stopped raining so taking that as a win it's basically summer now well i can honestly tell you that my legs had a lot more spring in them yesterday than they do today and i'm very glad for this giant gearing Whew. it was wet it was misty it was just pretty horrible and I wasn't really that inspired to get out and I could have very easily sat indoors and ridden on the trainer but you know what I didn't I grinned and bared it and I pushed on through <laughs> I say that I mean it's not been pleasant but it's also not been unpleasant let me just stop here it's the thing though when you get up and ride straight away I did no stretching there was no like warm-up it was just like straight out on the bike and a bit like Ooh. <sighs> That easy gearing saved my life. Maybe I'm stiff because my frame's aluminium. Is it because this bike is aluminium? Is that why I'm stiffer today and sore today than I was yesterday? Maybe. But I think that's due to the fact that I'm just more tired today than I was yesterday. So tomorrow I've got intervals. It's quite a short workout. I think it's only actually 30 minutes of intervals, but it's quite intense. And that's one of the reasons I did this ride early today. The earlier I get out and ride, the earlier I finish, the longer I have to recover. And also I got to pick the kid up from school. I bloody enjoyed it, even though it was grim and horrible. And oh, Joe, you know I've just got the right equipment today. I've got I've got my layering spot on, the bike is spot on. If you can ride around on a day like today with weather like this and be smiling 90 yeah, 89% of the time, you're winning. Let me know about bike material down below so we'll continue this conversation in the comments. I personally prefer carbon over everything else. Whilst I like steel, I wouldn't pick it over carbon. Aluminium, I'd pick for certain purposes at certain times. Like a crit bike, for example, good for that. But 99% of the time, I'd pick carbon over titanium, over steel, and over aluminium. There is no right or wrong answer to this, so feel free to let me know yours down below in the comments, and feel free to let me know if you think titanium is massively overrated. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys very soon. Bye.